What's up guys, it's Sawan Belcher. Today I wanted to talk about one of the most common ways to make money inside of real estate investing. It's with bandit signs. It's how to market for motivated sellers with bandit signs, what a good sign looks like, what a bad sign looks like. And this is not fake stuff. I'm actually gonna give you real data from signs that I've actually you know, purchased, from campaigns that I've actually tested, so you guys don't have to make the mistakes that I did, and you simply, simply can start with the best sign that I've ever had. Let's get into it. made a lot of money from little signs like what I just showed you okay and it is very possible a lot of people ask me hey so do bandit signs still work at the end of the day we are marketers so marketing is the first thing we do so if you're using a tool a sign to market yes it can work but there's little certain things that you can do to make your sign better or not better okay now the first thing that you need to consider is what does your sign look like okay and then also who you're trying to attract this is a sign that i did right where i was trying to attract some buyers as a little for sale sign a little ghost banded ad now this sign worked perfectly because it said hey three bedroom one bath house it's cheap for sale my phone number you know and i got a bunch of buyers that were added to my buyers list because of this sign now it was a real deal at one point but when we sold that deal i kind of left the sign out there so i can continue to get cash buyers and it worked like a charm literally i just went to like i think it was walmart picked up this blue sign big fat marker and i just stuck it in the yard perfectly got a bunch of cash buyers now one thing i noticed with this price point when i had it so low um i i got a lot of phone calls you know that sign works for cash buyers okay it's just a, a simple for sale sign cheap it could be if you don't have a deal then oh well you're gonna capture a lot of cash buyers uh what happens if you want to capture you know if you want to capture some rent to own some lease option tenants uh then i have another sign that i put up for that one rent to own no credit you know, no credit needed. Buy a house today, phone number. Now, typically that one is like with the white background uh, with red and blue letters. Like it looks like an American flag. Um, and I get a bunch of people who call me on that one. It says, hey, great. I got a down payment, but for whatever reason, I can't qualify for a loan. You know, I make the income, you know, but right now the bank doesn't like me, you know? Um, and so typically that sign gets me a lot of lease option buyers. Well, I have another sign that I'll, that I'll actually use for, uh, for sellers. Okay. Now this came, this came about time at the time, at the time, at the time, like my first, my first sign was, it wasn't as big, like this right here, this is pretty big. You know, this is pretty big. I don't know what size it is. Um, but I get these from, uh, from dirtcheapsigns.com. I think they're like a dollar and 50 a piece. But, um, my first sign was like half the size of this. Literally, I think it was half the size of this and I turned it long ways. And the colors that I used, cause I thought at the time, let me use green and black. Cause when people see the sign and it says that we buy houses, they'll see green and think of money. Now the problem is those signs were so small. I didn't realize it. I think I ordered maybe 300 of that sign for the first one. And I didn't realize it, but those signs were so small when people stopped at a red light, they couldn't see the phone number. You know, now what I did realize about those signs was because they were small, I couldn't stick them in the ground. You know, I had to put them up on a pole. So I would take like a, a little like letter, a little step ladder and some roofing nails, put it up on the pole so they were high. So now those signs did last the longest. They stayed up. You know, nobody coming around from the city picking up signs off of the street is gonna take the time to get a ladder and climb up the pole and, and get it. They're, they're just gonna let it stay there. So those signs did stay up the longest, the ones that were on the pole. But they got the least amount of calls because the numbers were so small. The next We Buy Houses sign that I put up, um, it was, I didn't use white or, I didn't use white or green anymore. And I did get it, you know, to like the standard size that I'm using now. Um, but it said, we buy houses, the phone number at the bottom, okay? I used uh, white with black signs, okay? W white with black letters. And the phone number was at the bottom. And I think that time I maybe had put out like 500. 
And so out of the 500, I can't remember exactly how many calls I got, but I got way more calls than I did with the small signs. But the problem I, I quickly noticed that I quickly noticed was when I put the sign in the ground, even the day that I was putting them in the ground, since the number was at the bottom, the grass on this, on, you know, the grass was already tall, so it started to cover up. It started to cover up my sign. I had, so when you look on dirt cheap signs, you'll see they have like different kinds of stakes. They got the, the big stakes, there's like 24 inches, and then they got the ones that are like 12 inches. Don't get the 12 inch ones. Because when you get the 12 inch ones, the sun literally sits on the ground. And if the grass is any kind of tall, your number is gonna start to get covered up or the ground is gonna get wet and start to disintegrate your sign, okay? And so that, so instantly I found out that, hey, this is probably a, a better sign because I got more calls, but I need to get the taller stakes. So I end up ordering like 500 more of those signs and I got the bigger stake. Now, what happened with these signs is I started to put out so many of them the city started to, not the city, other wholesalers started to notice me, okay? Because at this point, I have put out 300 of the little small ones, I have put out 500 of the uh, of the bigger white ones, I have put, another, put out another 500. So people were starting to notice me, and somebody was literally taking a knife and like, you know, and just like breaking my signs. And I was like, okay. So this is gonna be a volume game, okay? Because it's not that, it was a waste of money because somebody took my sign up or broke my sign. It's just that I need so many signs. Uh, I need so many signs that more and more people are gonna see me to call me. Um, and mind you, on not the small, not the small signs, but on the second batch of the 500, I got a deal. I got one deal out of that 500, out of that 500. And so on that deal, I think I made like $7,000. And to get 500, I think it cost me like, you know, $550. So $550 to make 7,000, that was completely worth it. So I ended up saying I need to buy more signs. Now, at the time I had a team, I had a team and we were really strategizing about what was working in marketing. And what we noticed is when we called sellers, we would call sellers on the phone and we say, hey, we're buying houses. They say, well, are you guys really buying houses? Because I've been getting a lot of these phone calls. And so when we noticed that people kept saying this word, really, Cameron at the time in our office, he had the he had the brilliant idea is, yo, how are we gonna change up your signs to differentiate, to differentiate from everybody else who's not closing deals? All the new wholesalers who are getting deals, getting these leads, not calling people back, not closing on the deals, how are we gonna differentiate your sign, okay, but still not too much, don't put too much on the sign, so that way people can actually get a clear message and call you. And so it hit it hit me, literally when, uh, when uh, one of my acquisition guys called the seller and they said the word, really. And so you guys do exactly, this is my highest performing sign right here, okay? This is my highest performing sign. Put your phone number at the top, we really, <laughs> we really buy houses, okay? We really buy houses. And when people call, they, when people call this sign, they don't even say, do you guys really do this anymore? They said, hey, we see you're in the business. We got a house to sell. You know, we see you have deals. You know what I mean? They stop, they stop the disbelief with just because of this one word. I still use that sign for the last, you know, for the last three years since we started using it. Still a great sign to use. Um, but instead of ordering 300 or 500, I order a thousand. Okay, I order a thousand at one time. Now I'm not putting them out myself. I typically order them from Dirt Cheap Signs and I have them sent to the office and then I have my sign guy come by and pick up a box Okay, I'll pay him a dollar and 25 a sign or a dollar and 50 a sign. Honestly, whatever you can get them agreed to. Have them come all here. I have them come here and they pick up one box at a time. They put out a hundred signs, boom, they get paid. Okay, they send me pictures of every sign that they put out. Okay, uh, they come back the next week, they grab a box, they put out the signs, they send me pictures, boom, they get paid. And with a thousand signs and you're dropping a hundred a week, okay? You're dropping a hundred a week consistently because with every marketing campaign, you have to be consistent. Uh, and then lastly, I want you guys to be creative with some of your other 
you know, signage. Okay, I want you guys to be creative with some of your other signage. I started buying the team shirts to wear whenever we were going to do like housing inspections. So they would have signs, they would have shirts that said buy triad homes. That's like, that's what we would, you know, call ourselves is buy triad homes. Hey, Mr. Seller, this is the one with buy triad homes. And we would have our shirts. I also started to make door hangers for pre foreclosure. Inside of the door hanger, we had um, assuming it was the seller, you know, kind of piece. And then on the other side, we had if you're the tenant, we'll pay you a thousand dollars if you refer us to the owner. And so we had a, a side for both, which got us conversions, which got us leads. And then we also put out signs in churches. What sign can you put in a church? And it's gonna be there for a long time. This was actually one of my favorite campaigns. Um, and now it's, it's one of the hardest campaigns to deliver, you know, uh, because some some churches aren't necessarily open to it, but some are. A church fan stays in a church for years. Okay, a church fan stays in a church for years. We literally had 500 church fans printed up and we donated them. We donated a hundred at a time to churches. And so we literally, we literally would get calls from people from the church fan. Think about it. They passing out the churches in there and you look at it and it's an advertisement for somebody's business. And that fan got to the church because they were donated to the church. So you guys can make church fans. So I hope this inspired you guys to be a little creative about who you can market to, how much marketing you should actually be doing, and then some different band design pieces that you can put out there so you can have a lead machine that's bringing in leads to you every single day for you to make offers on so you can get great deals on the contract and outperform your current market. Now, if you need any help in your business, sign up for a one-on-one -on -one call. Okay, one-on-one -on -one calls are great if you have a particular situation that you're working on, maybe a marketing campaign, maybe a deal, uh, or maybe just a certain situation that you're going through with a title issue, you know, or a seller, I can help you with that one-on-one. -on -one. So I'll leave the one-on-one -on -one link there. And remember, you guys don't need all three to do your first real estate investing deal, time, money, and knowledge. You just need two to do you. We'll see you on the next one.